Hello everyone. I'm glad to finally be back with you to do another Terrific Tuesday card. My name is Sherry Minnie. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. I live in Colorado in a small rural town by the name of Keensburg. I have been absent for quite a while and haven't done a video, but I'm hopefully going to be able to get back into somewhat of a schedule getting some out. Uh, as I said previously in my last video, I believe my husband's been having some back issues and I've been ex just kind of running him back and forth to appointments and treatments and all that kind of stuff and not left me any time to uh, do any crafting. However, he's finally getting a little bit better and his treatment schedule has been cut back a little bit. So I'm hoping that that will continue and I'll be able to get um, back to doing videos. So today we're going to do a birthday card. Uh, this is featuring a, a bundle that is actually going to be in the new catalog, which will be the January to June 23 mini catalog. That'll come out January 1st. And uh, I'm using basically the dies from this bundle. It was an early release and it is now available for purchase. Um, I'm also using one of my very favorite stamping uh, stamp sets called uh, Sending Smiles, I believe. I want to give credit to um, Stamps and Lingers for the layout on this card. I kind of basically followed what she did. I switched some colors around a little bit, but basically it was her layout. And I want to thank her for uh, posting that so I could copy it. So let's get started. Again, as I said, this is our card. It's a birthday card. And uh, I'll show you the products that we're going to be using today. The new bundle that is out that's the early release is called framed florets. We're actually not using the stamp set today, uh, but we are using the dies. It comes with some beautiful dies, again, called framed florets dies. We're going to be using this oval. It has some very nice um, decorative ovals that we'll be using, and then we're going to be using this one with the hearts. And um, on this one, all we're going to be using is actually the inside oval, but I wanted the one that has some embossing around the so I'll show you that as soon as I show you our packet. Then we are using uh, Sending Smiles. This is one of my most favorite stamp sets. I love the flowers. I love everything about it. And we're using the matching die. The only thing we're using the dies for is the sentiment. I am using one of the smaller sentiments. I think I'm using Birthday Wishes. So I use this small uh, label frame. But if you wanted to use one of the other ones and make it a, a long, there's also a long one that you can use to cut out these longer uh, sentiments. And the inside uh, sentiment comes from Inspired Thoughts. So that's what we're using for today. And let me get these out of the way. In your packet, you will have, as always, your envelope. You will have a thick, basic white card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And if you're getting some shadows and glares, I really do apologize with this new time change. It gets dark so much earlier and I should have been in here earlier in the day to take advantage of the natural light, but I didn't make it. So there's your card base. You're gonna have a piece of, um, Orchid Oasis, and this one is four by five and a quarter. You'll have two pieces of regular basic white. One is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna cut out your uh, oval framelit. And then the one on your card that's gonna go on your card here in the front is three and three fourths by five. You'll have some pieces of the six by six in color designer series paper in the Orchid um, Oasis. And, th and then you'll have another little tiny piece of basic white to stamp your greeting on. So that's really all, there. it's not a very hard card and uh, goes together fairly quickly. So let's get started here. First thing we'll do is fold our card base on the, uh, I, I emboss all my, or I, sorry, score all of my cards bases so that I can get a nice flat fold in the middle. And then I think what we'll do, we'll go ahead and work on our 
We'll do our, get all our stamping done first, okay? So first of all, we're gonna take our Orchid Oasis, and that's what we're gonna stamp our, greet the color we're using for our greeting. And since this is a photopolymer stamp set, I'm using a little bit of an extra cushion under it, and we will get that stamped. Like so. And what's going to happen, you're going to take the framelit and cut it out, the little label framelit. I'm sorry. And you'll end up with something that looks like that. Okay. Then we're going to do, um, we're going to work on our inside of our card. And I have my inside greeting on a Stamparatus. I'm sorry, this is probably going to be a little bit of a rough video. I haven't done for so long. I got to retrain myself. So here we go. I'll put my ink over there. We will take this, set it right here. I like to put something under the lid here just to make it one level so that when I'm inking it up, it um, works just fine nice and level that way you can ink it without too much issue okay and we're going to put that down i do have a new debbie tool that i'm leaving in here all the time so i don't forget it this one is a pretty sparkly one's got lots of little beads and so forth on it probably made you really dizzy there <laughs> doing that all right, and there's that. So that's all taken care of. Now we're going to take, uh, we'll take one of the pieces of, the other piece of four and a half by five um, basic white cardstock. And what we'll do is we will take the framelit, which I put away. Let me grab it. We'll take the framelit out of, this one out of the frame florets, it's the bigger one, has the, the oval that fits nicely inside the one with the hearts. And we're going to lay it on our paper, run it through our uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine. And when you do that, you end up with something that looks like this. So you have your... Um, oval center that we're going to use to stamp on and then you have this nice little frame that I'm saving and we'll be doing a, another type of card making use of these um, die cuts. So we're done with that. I uh, will put it back so I don't lose it. It's nothing worse than losing a framelit and you, or a die and then you have to buy a, another whole set of dies. And while we, if I had my Stamparatus here, or I'm sorry, if I had my stamp and cut and emboss machine out, I would take the other piece of basic white, oh, I just realized what I did. I stamped this on the wrong thing, so I'll have to stamp that over. I would take this, this is the one with the hearts. I would lay it on here, center it, try to get it straight. Ovals are hard for me to get straight, I don't know why, and then run it through. And when you get that run through, what you have is this pretty piece that's going to be on the front of your card and this it's going to go on top of here so you can see that pretty lavender color through there let me once again put these away and we'll be done with those i think so let's start over with the stamping since i kind of messed that up what i should have done is taken my stamparatus Taken my card base. Let me see if I if you're in camera. Taken my card base, lined it up here. And stamped directly to my card base since it's white. I don't have to waste another piece of white cardstock. Okay? That's what I was supposed to do. All right, this time we are done with this. All right, now we're gonna do some stamping on our oval. 
So you probably cannot even see this on the camera, but it has a very um, little bit of an embossed edge on it with the little lines, and that's kind of what I was hope wanting to use. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to stamp the larger flower, this flower right here. I'm going to stamp that first before I do the stem. That way I know I can get everything lined up, hopefully, the way it's supposed to be. Again, this is a photopolymer stamp, so we're going to use our cushion foam behind it. And I'm going to stamp it kind of up in this direction, somewhat close to the top. Hold it for a few seconds, pull it up, okay? Then we are going to take our Granny Apple Green and we're going to stamp our stem so we know the proper placement for our second flower. I'm going to put paper behind here because this is going to be stamped off and I don't want it on my pad. So I'm just going to take this and try and line it up as best I can. I don't want to don't have enough room to get my other flower in there. Again, hold it for a few seconds. While I have that out, I'm going to take my envelope and I'm going to stamp a little bit of the leaf here on my envelope. Oops, that's what you don't want to do, so I'll have to correct that. My pads are very juicy. I just re-inked the majority of them, and so they're quite, quite juicy. I think we're done with this one. We'll put it away. Now we'll go back to our... Uh, let's see, I think I'm done with this. Also. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Let's go back to our envelope. And we'll stamp our Orchid Oasis flower one more time. Now we're done with this. If not, we'll open it up and use it again, but I think we're done. Now we're going to move on to the Mango Melody flower. These flowers have some pretty obvious places where you can tell that it's got to, it's supposed to have been the, um, where it connects with the stem. Okay, there's that one. Envelope is pretty much done, and then we will do this one next. Okay, and we're done with the Mango Melody. And now the only thing we have left to do are the centers and our flowers. And that's going to be Daffodil Delight. We have a big one with a bigger flower. I'll do my envelope at the same time so I can. And then we have a small one for our smaller flower. Okay. And I need a small one on my, oh, all right, there we go. I think we are done with stamping. Okay, I'm going to put some dimensionals. This is going to be popped up when we get to that point of our card. So I will put some dimensionals on there, and I'm actually going to use some, um, pieces that I have left over. No sense on any of these going to waste. And I did put quite a few just because you know me, I don't like my card to sag. And so I do not spare on the dimensionals. That 
that's one of the reasons why I use every little piece that I can so that I don't waste any of them. Put just a little bit in the center. other thing that needs some dimensionals is our little um, birthday wishes and on for that I'm going to use the mini dimensionals um, I use these quite a bit and I don't seem to have a pokey. oh yes I do grab my pokey tool I'm leaving the ends open without a dimensional because it's going to kind of uh, lay over our image and it will already be raised up. Okay, I think we're ready to start assembling. So we will take our heart shaped piece, our heart frank, uh, oval. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on it. Not on the hearts, just on the edges. Whoops, sticky fingers, so that didn't go where I wanted it to. Not the straightest I've ever done, but it's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take my um, stamp and seal. And this will go on our card base. Try to get it somewhat even. I'm not I'm out of practice. It always takes me a little while to get my eye adjusted to the borders and what's straight and what's not. And I just got Hopefully it's not ink that I just got on there. Where is my where is my sticky my adhesive eraser? Everything is all messed up in here. There we go. Okay. And then we'll take this, take the backings off of our dimensionals. I hope you've all been doing well. I've been well, thankfully, but just so busy running around and trying to keep up with my husband's treatment schedule and the other things that are going on in my life with church and everything. So it's been a little bit of a crazy, a crazy time, but I'm thankful that he's getting better and trust me, we could be so much worse. So now I'm just going to kind of center this in that oval as best I can. I will take my birthday wishes put it on the front and what I did is I kind of uh, tried to balance it by having the same amount of this label on each on each side and then I just stuck it on there And then we have to finish up our inside. So I have a piece of 6x6 six six designer series paper in the Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to put that right along the e edge. Don't get it up on the uh, score line because then your card won't shut. But I'm going to put it there. I'm going to let that dry for just a minute. And while I'm doing that, I will take this. 
my silicone mat. I will take, put some glue around the edges. This is a new bottle of glue, so it's really coming out a little quicker than I'd like it to. I have this very small piece of designer series paper. See, I have a bit of a smudge on the front of this envelope, so <laughs> you can tell I am out of practice. All right, while that's drying, we will take this. We'll take our scissors. Trim that off. Trim that off. And there is our card. With the exception of our little brush butterflies. These are um, come in a packet like this and you get quite a few, a couple of different sizes. Uh, I'm only, I only have the larger ones left to finish out this packet, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I just took one and I put it, you can really put them wherever you want. I chose to kind of put them up here Just to give it a little bit of a nice finish, I'll take my envelope, trim around the edges of my designer series paper. I kind of do this on every card. It helps me, I think it really dresses up the envelope and it also helps me use up my designer series paper because a lot of times I have so much of it and I don't use it like I should. I Sometimes I don't even want to cut them, they're so pretty, but that doesn't make much sense. So I'm trying to uh, use up as much of it as I can. So don't look at the little smudge on the envelope. But here's, here's the card we just did. And here is my sample card. Again, if you have any questions or interested in ordering any of the things and items that I used, you can find them on my online store at sherrymini.stampinup.net. Uh, I have a blog, simplylovestampin.com, and I will be posting all the details for this card on my blog uh, as soon as I get the uh, video uploaded. And you can reach me at suaddicted at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I, God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.